the tight clinch. Now the clinch is designed that when um, two people come in close, you're gonna basically uh, try and manipulate and wrestle with the person's head and the neck, uh, and at the same time, throw knees to the midsection, and if possible at times, uh, to the head. So with your partner, okay, we're gonna start up with the hands up high. Now, when we enter into the clinch, we never wanna enter in, okay, square, because our opponents now can, you know, throw a jab cross down the middle, and then next thing you know, you're on the ground. So when we go in, they call it uh, threading the needle, which means basically when I go in, I enter in with my left hand first, okay? Establishing some kind of hold with the left hand, okay? And then putting my right hand up, okay? Uh, and then either throwing knees or trying coming in on the inside and getting good position. Now, there's a couple of positions that you don't want to be in, okay? And the most, the most dangerous one is here with your head down. Uh, if your head is down, you really don't have much to pull your head out, okay? You're gonna be taking a lot of knees in from the midsection. If you decide to close the distance to grab the waist, they can take the waist out and, and keep you, you know, in that position for pretty much as long as they want, okay? Uh, another position you don't wanna be in is if your arm is locked here, they've got you around the neck, now your whole right side or left side is gonna be taking a lot of knees, all right? so. One drill that you can do to get used to keep, you know, keeping your head up is hands up. We thread the needle, we come in. Now with your partner, you wanna rise up on the balls of your feet and keep your head up, shoulders up. From that position, we just pummel, okay? Your partner comes on the inside with both hands. All right, I pummel in and in. He comes in and in, all right? so. Once you've got the, the gist of that, you can take that and go a little bit quicker with it, but always making sure when you enter in, head up nice and high, okay? And then try and pummel your hands in one by one, trying to get control of the, of the head, all right? Now, when you come in for the head, you wanna get your elbow in the middle of the chest and get your hand on the crown of the head. You don't wanna be on the back of the neck because now he can bring his head back and he's not in danger anymore. Once his head comes down and you're on the crown of, his, crown of his head, if he tries to bring his head up, bring your head up, okay? The head's not going anywhere, all right? Um, another good position in the clinch is one hand on the crown of the head and the other hand on the shoulder. That way, if he, decide, if he wants to try and get this left hand in, okay? Whichever way he tries to get the left hand in, okay? I lock him off if he comes on the outside. I can open him up more on the outside if he decides to come and deliver knees to the outside. From this position, it's very easy to go from here to the head, okay, which puts him in even more of a dangerous position, okay? And that's just a basic run through of uh, the tight clinch.